Hey, Rock, welcome to your mock interview today. Up, You're Dan? going to have about 20 to 30 minutes to answer the question. And at the end, we'll review how it all went. Does that work for you? Sounds good. Okay. Your prompt is given a string S containing just the characters, open parentheses, close parentheses, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, closed curly brace, determine if the input string is valid. Okay. Valid is that open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets in the correct order. Okay. Okay. Sounds, uh, sounds good. Okay. Um, I can do this in Java. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. All right. Um, I might not remember all of the import statements, but I'll go with as That's much okay. as I can remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do this. We're going to, um, import. <laughs> Sorry, this is hard to write. Um, Java dot utils dot uh linked list um okay cool is that okay is that legible it's 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 okay um can you walk me through what you're trying to do yeah i'm gonna uh use essentially a stack to uh add items into a stack and pop them off as i go um so that way so if we if i for example find a open parenthesis um if i find like a you know, a first paren, right? That would start a parenthesis or something like that, or an open bracket, right? Left mm. bracket, right, bra left bracket, left parentheses, left curly brace. Um, the intent is I'm going to um, add that onto a stack. And then as I find um, closing uh, parentheses, bracket, curly brace, I'm gonna go back to the stack, pop off the element. And if the element matches the item that's on the stack, um, then I'm going to uh, validate that that is a correct pattern. So what's what would the runtime of a solution like this be? Uh, it would be it, it would be O of N because I'd have to go through everything, uh, I believe, um, in order to figure out. I'm going to have to go through every element of the string to actually figure out like if the string is valid. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how okay. much space would this be using? It would use, uh, well, you're going to have the string and then you're going to have the uh, um, linked list. So as many elements, you're going to have the string taking up memory. And you're going to have the linked list taking up as much memory as there are elements in the string that are being injected into the stack. I'm so that curious, like, why are you using the linked list here? Um, just something I'm familiar with. I know I could, there are like other options like queues and stacks. I just off the top okay. of my head can you think of a linked list and like the 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 java elements that i can use to like add things right. to it and take things off yeah okay cool okay uh cool so we'll call it class um i don't know class uh int or view or something i don't know <laughs> okay and we'll do a public um It'll be a public Boolean um, test. Ah, test string. Ah, sorry. Okay, test string, and it's going to give me a string of S. And cool. Um, yeah, okay. And let's do this. So um, I guess, first of all, it's fair to say, I guess I, I guess I could just start with a simple if statement, which is like if uh, s dot length ah, um, is less than, oops, sorry, no, that's not right. Ah. Um, cool. Uh, two is not, uh, is not zero, then, uh, return 
false. And cool. Um, so just to clarify right here, I'm just mm -hmm. checking to see if the string can be divided by two. And if not, then we know that it's an odd numbered string and therefore we can just exit immediately because we know that there aren't matching characters. So right. um, cool. All right, so uh, otherwise else we continue on. I'm gonna go over here to continue because I can't. Sure. Cool. Um, okay, great. So otherwise we wanna check to see um, if, okay, really quick clarification. Does mm -hmm. this string, will this string only ever contain parentheses, uh, curly braces and brackets? Yes. Okay, great. All right, so if we have an, uh, uh, sorry, what? Okay, so if, come on. So, oh no, I'm sorry. This, not quite. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's go through this. So for uh, int of uh, int i equals zero and i is less than s dot length and uh, i plus plus, um, yeah. So uh, if, Um, s dot, I believe it's s dot car at i uh, equals, oops, double that. So what exactly are you doing here? Um, so I'm going to be looping through the string, like character by character. And what I want to do is if I see, again, if I see an open parenthesis, an mm -hmm. open or a left, a left parenthesis, a left bracket or a left curly brace, I'm going to add that, pop that onto the linked list, the, the stack effectively, right? I'm going to okay. add that to the front of the stack. And then when I go to the next characters, as I move forward, I want to find closing parentheses, closing bracket, closing curly brace. And when I find those, I want to pop the latest, the, pop the first element off the, the stack, um, check to see if they match, if they like close each other, and then continue moving through. The, the, when you string. say the first element off the stack, which one are you referring to? So I, the plan, my, my plan is like, as I find, um, as I find a open element, I'm going to put it first into the linked list, the slash right. stack. I'm kind of effectively right. using it, kind of almost like effectively using it as a, yeah, as a stack. So, yeah. okay, cool. Uh, yeah. All right, great. Um, so, so if this equal, ah, if this equals, um, open, or, uh, s. Dot car. At ah man, this is <laughs> okay. I equals um, or s dot car at of i equals curly brace. Um, then we want to. Uh, Oh, actually, sorry, really quick. I'm just going to go back here because I realized I missed one thing. Um, what? I did not actually initialize the, the linked list. So let me do that really quick. So initializing the linked list is um, uh, linked list ll equals um, linked. Oops, uh, no, nope, not quite. Link list of characters uh, equals of LL equals linked list of 
Ah, I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's okay. You're right anyway, you it. know you what you get what I'm doing, right? You can continue that line. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You're initializing the linked list. I do have a question about the linked list. Okay. Do you have a pointer to the last element in the linked list? Uh, I do. Do I have a pointer to the last element linked list? Like, what do you mean by that? Sorry. So my understanding here is that you're adding elements to this linked list as you go. Mm -hmm. through. If it's an open break, let's say it's an open uh, parentheses. You're mm -hmm. adding it to the linked list. Are mm -hmm. you adding it to the front of the linked list? Are you adding it to the end of the linked list? What I'm going to add to the front of the linked list and pop off elements from the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popping off elements from the front. Okay, so you're always going to be... So you're... Okay, I understand. So you're, you're adding a new... You're having your new element point to the previous first element and you're changing the head of the linked list. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, so, uh, so for example here, we're going to add the element to the linked list. So it'd be um, ll dot add first um, s dot car at of i. So yeah, that's exactly what's happening. So if I find an open parenthesis, open bracket, open curly, I'm going to add that directly to the top or to the first element of the linked list. Then when I find any of the other characters, I'm going to remove the first element and see if it matches. OK. Yeah. OK, cool. Uh, great. So that's that. Um, so we can do, 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 close that out. Um, otherwise, we're going to continue on. And I'm going to go over there to that, do that. <laughs> cool. OK. So um, yeah, so otherwise, um, what we're going to do is, first of all, we have to make sure the there's actually elements in this linked list, because theoretically, if you gave me a string of just one character that, right. let's say, was a closing bracket. Um, Wouldn't that already be handled by your base case? By the base case? with one character. Uh oh, that's true. That is fair. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. That would that would be fair. Yeah, if you gave me yeah, if you gave me one character, that's true. So actually, okay, that's fine. Um, okay, cool. Um, so if oh, nope, 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 nope. So uh, we're going to do LL. Ugh. All right, so car removed equals LL dot remove first. So what that does um, in linked lists is mm -hmm. it will pop up the first element of the linked list, and it will automatically like switch the pointer to the front of the list to be the next element in that list. Okay. Um, cool. So, um, so if, uh, removed. So, um, what I trying to think about the easiest way to do this, uh, let's just do it this way. All right. So if removed, um, equals S dot, um, car, at no 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 sorry sorry blanking haha <laughs> never mind um what i want to do here is i actually want to compare um i'm going to compare the ascii uh values of the uh curly brace the um the all of the alternate curly brace um bracket and um parentheses which parentheses um there's a one value difference in ascii and for curly brace in brackets, there's two. So I'm effectively, I'm just going to look to see if I subtract those values, um, if they match up. Um, Interesting. Cool. Uh, okay. So let's do, so if, um, uh, yeah, so if S, no, wait, ah, my thinking yeah okay this is what i want to do so if s dot car at i equals um parentheses um sorry nope close paren um 
um, then I'm going to check to see if the value of this and removed are um, one apart. So um, it would be if uh, removed, yeah, if, uh, no, wait, yeah, if s dot car, da. Um, so if int s dot car at i minus removed, yep, convert that to an integer though, sorry. What? Um, int uh, s dot car, no, what? Blanking. <laughs> removed yeah um equals uh sorry no if it doesn't equal one uh then we are gonna return false so when you return yeah. false there yeah yeah so um basically so in 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 java um you can um you can down convert a car to it or i'm sorry you can yeah up convert a car to an int um which just gives you the numerical value of a character in ascii um so what i'm doing here is i'm looking at Effectively, I'm I'm saying like we've we've shown that the character and the string at this point is a closed parenthesis, so we want to subtract the the character value of that parenthesis from the character value removed. And if they do not equal one, then we know that there hasn't been a matching um, closing uh, parenthesis. Um, gotcha. So yeah, so then we return false. Cool, great. Um, otherwise. <clears throat> Um, else, um, so if it's not a clothing parenthesis, then we know it's either a bracket or a curly brace, and those ASCII values are two apart. Um, so I'm okay. just checking for two instead. So um, if uh, int oh. of s dot car at i uh, minus int removed uh, is not equal to two, uh, then again, return false. Uh, okay, great. Close that all out, uh, and we can close that whole thing out. And then, if all of that um, otherwise turns out to be true, at the end of this, we can return true in that initial function um, because we'll have gone through the entire um, string and we verify that there are closing um, that all of the parentheses, brackets, and curly braces were properly closed uh, in order. That should that should do it. <laughs> done i think i think that's it all right awesome uh we'll call it there rock thank you so much for interviewing today uh 